Hey, what is up guys? H Masters here, and today we are taking a look at a LEGO Ninjago movie Brickheads mock that I made. Now, this is not based off any official Brickhead pictures, this is all a mock made by myself, based off, of course, the LEGO Ninjago movie version of Kai. Now, I mainly used pictures here as references from the Ultimate uh, sticker book that we've recently gotten pictures of, and then a little bit from the trailers. But let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Now, the torso, I tried to get as much details as I could using, you know, what references I had, and I tried to sort of show a little bit of the details here. For example, right here, he has a belt, so I just tried to get that there, and you can see it is kind of sticking out because of the pieces I used, along with these two buttons that are also at the top of the torso. And he also has this design where he has the straps going across on both sides, so I tried to show that using these pieces up here, how the strap kind of works. But of course I wasn't, you know, fully able to get that because, you know, there's a lot of details I'm not able to get as best as I would be able to if I could just make prints or stickers, which is of course a very major part of a lot of the details that go on the brickheads. And it really kind of shows you just how important those details are. If you make a mock of brickheads and try to get those details in there, you all of a sudden kind of sort of appreciate the stickers a whole lot more because you kind of get it even more and more, you know, the significance of them. The legs, on the other hand, you can see are relatively simple. I do have this um, trans red uh, sort of just one by one tile piece here. And the reason for this is because on his legs, he does have a little bit of red spots. And I decided to use that to try to kind of convey it. But you know, it's nothing too crazy other than that. For his arms, I have a relatively simple design, but this one's a little more interesting because I do have this sort of scabbard piece. I'm not really 100% sure on the naming there, but I do have it in silver, and of course it does use some of those textured grill plates to kind of get the textures because you can see Kai does generally have that in the trailers, so I decided to put that in here. And then the other arm is just a fairly simple, just generic arm with no really complicated designs back of Kai it's just as generic as it could possibly be it's, it's just all red because there just isn't any piece or any well pictures at this point of the back of the Kai minifigure so I don't really know what to put on there so I just kind of left it all red just to go with the you know just a regular torso for me though the most important thing had to be the head mainly because since this is a brick head mock the head's the most important thing for me because it's the biggest thing you're going to notice and it's the most attention grabbing thing so i wanted to get it as close to you know what i could now obviously there are missing details like he should have a symbol right in the middle right there but of course i can't make stickers so i couldn't get that symbol in there but i do have what i think is pretty good design for the head now since the lego nijago movie actually has a new hood mode Whole, well, hood mold. I tried to sort of uh, make the head based off that. You can see there's a lot of details that I would normally have in there, such as, you know, the red would continue up to here. But since that's not actually in the new mold, I'm just leaving it this way. So you can see how it's curved in the front like this. You can see how the whole curving goes. And then on the sides and the back, I've left it flat. And if I had all the pieces, I probably would have continued the whole curvature throughout the whole thing. But I only have it on the... Uh, front and the top just because you know there's only so many pieces I have but you can see how I do have it going down this way that's just a preference I could have done it the other way it wouldn't have really made a difference but I do have it going this way because I thought it looked a little bit better and I thought it just worked better for the brick head in general but that's pretty much it for my Brickhead mock of Kai here from the Lego Ninjago movie. I think I did as pretty much as good as a job as I could have done with the parts that I had and the limited availability of pictures that you could really get shown off most of the minifigure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There are of course some little things in there that I couldn't get that I wish I could have. For example, some of the details which if I had stickers, you know, like the little symbol on his hood, if I had stickers I could have, you know, put that on there. But since I don't have the ability to make stickers or prints, I couldn't do that. Also, if I, I mean, I could have if I really wanted to, uh, for example, on my channel there is a bobble feature and head articulation adder tutorial for brickheads, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description, but I did not add head articulation or the bobble feature in this because I wanted to keep it as close to the original brickhead design as possible, but that does leave it mostly static, you know, you, you could technically make some modifications if you wanted to just by physically taking like an arm off and rearranging it. But you know, because of that, you know, it's just, it's mostly static, which is unfortunate. But I'm thinking of making more of these, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Do you want to see more? And I probably will make a how-to video later on, so watch out for that. Until next time, see you guys later.